When Dr. Scott Patton's son was life-threatening condition in a hospital and doctors couldn't give him any answers, he searched deeper into his background to find out what he could do to change the situation. Joining us now is Dr. Scott Patton. He's talking about his new book, Health Beyond Medicine. And the book really starts off with your purpose behind creating it. Your son was sick and you weren't giving him any answers, so you had to go into your own background to figure out how to change this. Yeah, this is a great, out of every interview I've done, that's the biggest compliment I've gotten on pe from people is just what this did for my child. Mm -hmm. At two days old, he was born, started developing some uh, health issues, blueing up the lips. Uh, they immediately put him in the ICU. Every doctor that you can imagine that would run tests on, in a pediatric ICU was running tests on my child. Long story short, um, after all these tests were run, they were all negative. And so the neonatologist comes into the room and says, well, hey, you're, you're, all these tests are negative from these specialists. We're going to assume that this is acid reflux and we're gonna put them on acid reflux medicine. And, and we, we were kind of beside ourselves for, for blueing of the lips. We don't, right. we don't understand, you know. So they were just trying to cover it up. They didn't have an answer, so let's just cover it up. Correct, which is, which is okay, because medicine has saved a lot of lives, and right. I appreciate medicine. And through the, throughout this book, I actually compliment medicine. Mm -hmm. However, in this case, and in a lot of cases in the United States, they're, they're, we're kind of missing the boat. And in his case, in my child's case, I picked him up out of the ICU bed, and I just adjusted, gently adjusted, which is what chiropractors do. We take away what's called the subluxation. Mm -hmm. It's a little, it's a vertebra that twists slightly out of place, puts pressure on a nerve, causes some negative effect somewhere in the body, wherever the destination of that nerve goes. In his case, it was the lungs. So that little tiny adjustment took that pressure off and immediately the bluing stopped, the uh, administering of oxygen stopped. Wow. He was released from the hospital, never had an issue again, never took any acid reflux medicine. And, you know, but there's a lot more yeah. to the story, so, Kirsten. Right, and <clears throat> this is, let's talk a little bit about your background. So you're an acupuncturist, you're also a chiropractor, yeah. Yeah. and then you have a chemistry background, is that what you're saying? Yeah, <laughs> but before I became a chiropractor, I was, I was an environmental chemist. Okay. I actually was accepted to the program at University of South Florida for environmental chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, started going that route, ended up getting my first adjustment right around that time, and uh, lo and behold, I, it, it was a complete life change. Went to chiropractic college, got a master's degree in sports medicine, wrote a thesis that I submitted to the Olympics, to the Pre-Olympic Scientific Congress. It was actually, it was accepted out of thousands for oral presentation. I went to Greece in 04, presented it in front of the, some of the brightest minds in mm -hmm. science. So, I mean, I can understand. And what was that thesis? Is it, that what it, your it, book is, is basically the thesis? No, the book okay. was basically the experience with my child. The thesis was just leg length inequality and how it affects sway, how it affects coordination. It's kind of a biomechanical background, but the bottom line is that some people just have, 90% of the population hasn't seen a chiropractor, and some of them don't go because they think, well, it, chiropractors aren't really, they're, they're not scientific, right. they don't know research. Well, I mean, I, I've kind of debunked that myth. Now, how do you do that in your book? What is it that you're debunking? Are you walking people through the chiropractic experience, or are you walking them through an overall healthy lifestyle experience? C, all of the above. Okay. It's, 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 <laughs> a, it's, B, or C. Yeah. The, 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 the beginning of the book talks about the, the problems right now. Okay. The, the World Health Organization states that two point, we, we spend, at, at the United States spends, 15.7% of our GDP, which is which is 2.2 trillion dollars, on our on our um, yeah. on, on, on our on our healthcare. Mm -hmm. 2.2 trillion dollars is unacceptable. It's not healthcare. It's sick care. If it was healthcare, 2.2 trillion dollars should buy something. The middle of the book talks about the experience with Nick, my my child, and the last part of the book actually explains that subluxation, explains okay. how to get better and how to. Uh, uh, find a healthier lifestyle. And what makes your book different than other books? What do you think that people are going to find? I saw <clears> there <throat> you have five secrets to superior health. So in this quest, you found some secrets that you're giving in this book. Chiropractic adjustment, proper nutrition, mm -hmm. proper sleep, proper exercise, and positive mental attitude. If we practice this, which I said in the interview yesterday, I was talking to Tricia, um, a lot of people, Colorado, at least this city, represents yeah. a small minority of healthy people. You guys practice the majority of the five factors of health. Right. I mean, but I was going to say it seems like a trend that's happening, but it might just be a trend in a very select few. I saw a show last night. Jamie Oliver yeah. um, uh, has a show, and it was amazing. Some people didn't even know what a tomato was or a potato. They didn't know where things. Isn't come. that sad? Yeah, so you know, we were at Renski's yesterday, <laughs> and we were getting our our, our stuff, and uh, the the guy goes, "Hey, do you want some chocolate chip cookies?" Yeah. And my son goes, "No." And I said, "If you had broccoli, he'd eat it." <laughs> and he, he goes, oh, I just ate my last piece, sorry Is buddy. that in here too, a secret on how to get your kids to eat broccoli? <laughs> no, that's, I'm not in there. That's a good secret. <laughs> All right, now where can we find your book? Um, you can actually go to Bookworm, 
Okay. You can order it at Bookworm. Mm -hmm. uh, any major online retailer will have it. Uh, Barnes & Noble, Borders, Amazon, et cetera. And you know, to, to finish off on that last uh, point that you asked me, what, what separates yours? I think it's my background. I think you know, a lot of people think that, like I said, and, and I'm, not, I'm not an isolated case. I'm not alone. It's mainly people who, um, virtually all chiropractors have the same background I do. They may not have presented uh, research at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. However, they've got a strong scientific background. So, yeah. I, I'm, but I you're guess a parent too. You're a parent, you're a doctor, you have a background, and so you're really able, it sounds like, to bring that through in your book and give everyone the story. So I know you have your son out there with you today. We have to wrap it up. But again, people can go to the bookworm to purchase. And are you going to give any talks anytime soon? No, we're actually headed back. Uh, I may be back in December, and okay. we'll see what happens with that, but uh, I sure enjoyed it this year. Yeah, okay, and then the best spot is to go online, P-A-T-O-N, chiropractic.com? Uh, that's my actual website. I'd go to healthbeyondmedicine.com.